This lesson covers the Shadow Copy service, which is used to enable a previous version's view of file shares. Windows Server leverages a number of technologies such as the Volume Shadow Copy Service or VSS as part of backups. And this enables a point in time snapshot of the file system to be taken and then backed up at a later point in time. And the way it really works is it looks at the blocks of the file system that makes up the data that is part of that snapshot. And when changes occur, it actually writes those changes to different locations. Or more precisely, it keeps a copy of the block that is about to be overwritten prior to that overwrite. This same capability is leveraged to enable us to keep snapshots of previous point in time views of a file system and therefore file shares. If I look at a drive and its properties, I see the shadow copy option and I have it enabled for my data drive. If I look at the settings, I can control how much space is used for these shadow copies. Now remember the way this technology works is at a block level. So it's not about the total amount of data, it's about the rate of change and specifically the amount of block level change. I could have a 200 megabyte file, but if the change is only 10K, the only disk space you need for these shadow copies is that 10K difference. And I have multiple points in times that are defined by this schedule. So I've got mine configured to run at 7 o'clock and 12 o'clock every day of the week. So this is now going to go and create one of those point in time views at these configured times. And the number it will keep is really based on the amount of disk space that's being used. As it runs out of disk space, it will start deleting those older snapshots, those previous point of views of time. And as you can see, I have many of these snapshots available for that file system. This is available to me as the administrator. So for example, I can actually right click on a folder, properties, and I can see the previous versions. And I can opt to open that view, copy it somewhere else, or even restore it in place. But the really powerful point of this is it's for the end user. So if I'm an end user, and I'm saving my documents and I accidentally hit save instead of save as. Instead of having to contact the IT help desk to do that restore for me, I could, for example, say, well, it was in this multimedia folder and now I've deleted it. Or maybe it was in documents. So they can actually right click properties, previous versions, and see all the previous points in time view of that data. They can select one and say open. They are now looking at that file share at that previous point in time. They could then copy it, save it, do whatever they need, all without having to involve the IT help desk. It is important to realize though, this technology is not designed to be a replacement for a backup. All of these changed blocks are still stored on the local file system. There's actually a hidden share. So if I look at my folder views and my options, view, I can say don't hide protected operating system files. And then what I'll see is this system volume information. And there's basically a cache in that folder of all these previous blocks. Well, if I suffer a problem on the NTFS file system, a corruption, I lose the disk. Previous point in times are not going to help me at all. I've lost the disk. If there's an NTFS corruption, I may have lost the disk. Now, check disk may go and be able to find the problems and check disk is in fact hugely improved in Windows Server 2012. Before, check disk would require the volume to be offline for maybe hours or days while it trawled through the whole file system. In Windows Server 2012, it does that scanning for problems while the file system is still online. And then once it's found the problems, you run a spot fix, which takes it offline for a maximum of eight seconds. But still at the end of the day, if I lose the file system, I've lost my data whereas a backup is taken to an alternate location. So if I lost my drive, I still have the data somewhere else. So don't think of this technology as a backup replacement. Think of it as an enhancement, giving additional capability for user restoration and maybe even the administrator on the user's behalf. And it really does offer a much richer experience for accessing those file shares.